gun. Russian forces battling it out in harsh winter conditions in Ukraine have lost more than 1,100 fighters in a single day, along with nearly 20 tanks and 26 armored personnel carriers, Kiev has said. Russia lost 1,120 troops in the past 24 hours, Kiev's military said on Thursday, revising their total for Russian personnel losses since February 2022 to 336,230 soldiers. Russian equipment losses throughout Wednesday also included 18 tanks, 26 armored personnel carriers, and 21 artillery systems, the general staff of Ukraine's military said in an operational update posted to social media. Although media could not independently verify the general staff's figures, they are the latest indication of the heavy toll. 21 months of war and attrition is continuing to take on Russia's military. Despite Ukraine's summer counteroffensive, the front lines snaking through Russian annexed territories have largely remained static, with particularly high losses and casualties reported around the Donetsk city of Avdivka since early October. Ukraine's losses are likely to be painful too. Russia's defense ministry said on Thursday that Ukraine had lost 750 fighters along the contact line over the previous 24 hours. Around the northeastern city of Kupiansk, Ukraine lost two tanks and four armored personnel carriers in the past day, Russia said on Thursday. According to the Ukrainian general staff, Russia's military has lost 5,118 tanks since Moscow launched its invasion of Ukraine in February 2022. It has also lost 10,482 armored personnel carriers, Kyiv said. Russia countered on Thursday with an update on reported Ukrainian vehicle losses, saying Kyiv had lost 13 C-170 tanks and other armored combat vehicles throughout the months of warfare. The Ukrainian military declined to comment on Russia's figures. Experts have previously suggested to media that Ukraine's figures for Russian losses are likely to be roughly accurate. However, it is very difficult to determine casualties in an ongoing conflict since both sides will try to keep the data secret and inflate the number of adversary casualties. Marina Myron, a postdoctoral researcher in the Department of War Studies at King's College London, told media earlier this year. Ukrainian forces have enjoyed some success in the brutal battle for Avdivka, according to British officials. In an update that follows a series of recent downbeat assessments regarding Kyiv's war prospects. Russia launched a push for Avdivka in October, and while Moscow's forces have suffered some of their highest casualties of the war, Russian military bloggers have pointed to steady and hard-won progress for the town which is key to Moscow, taking full control of the Ukrainian oblasts of Donetsk and Luhansk. Russian mill bloggers have also said that Ukraine has suffered high losses, and in the last few weeks both Ukraine's top general, Valery Zaluzhny, and some military experts expressed doubt about Kyiv's ability to break Russian lines in the area. The Ukrainian military command has set the task of holding Avdivka at any cost, the Rybar channel said, noting that over 40 battalions from eight brigades of the Ukrainian armed forces, transferred from the western sectors of the front, are concentrated in this direction. Another Russian mill blogger, Two Majors, has described the Avdivka front as a lighter version of the Bakhmut meat grinder, referring to the Donetsk city that saw high casualties during a fierce fight. Russia's offensives in Avdivka continue to involve largely dismounted infantry assaults, often by Storm Z penal units. The Institute for the Study of War, ISW, said on Sunday that Russian forces are conducting attritional infantry-led frontal assaults on Ukrainian fortifications at high cost. The 
The Ukrainian general staff reported on Sunday that its troops had repelled at least 39 Russian attacks within six miles in several directions of Avdivka, as well as near Stepov. Meanwhile, Alexander Sirsky, the head of the Ukrainian ground forces, described the operation situation in the east of Ukraine as difficult and said 60 military clashes took place at the front during the day. The Ukrainian Avdivka city. Military administration head Vitaly Barabash said Russian forces are constantly attacking and striking Ukrainian positions near Avdivka, regardless of the weather conditions. Давай. Выстрел! 